Hey guys, just got home and saw all this stuff in the mailbox. So, figured I'd uh, show you guys all this stuff. And uh, I'm going to call this my first uh, grocery drop. So, grocery drop number one. Because uh, I spent my grocery money on this stuff. Ah, just kidding. Um, Alright guys, this is the 5 inch stuff. I want to get show you guys real quick so I can uh, clear it off the workbench here. I ordered more of these uh, pink Jump Fan Flash 5152s. Uh, I've been really liking them on the 5 inch, especially on the Chameleon. Uh, they, they fly really well. So just ordered a few more of these and get that out of the way. And of course, a bunch more uh, Gem Fan Flash. Uh, there's two two sets in each of these bags, and um, I got I like the blues and the clears for FPV. So got some more props in, and then for the five inch, I got this cool little battery protector for. Uh, I guess bottom battery mount, 5 inch quads. This would work out really well. Saw this on uh, race day quads. And it's got like a little uh, spot for your balancer plug. And it's got a nice nose protection thing here. I really need to get a 3D printer. So I'll definitely be printing some of this stuff for the micros. And then I went to, to the race day quads um, site and saw these motors just like a ton of all good reviews I mean literally 95% of all the reviews on this were five star I think there was one four star that I saw so I decided to try them out uh, these are gonna go on my black pearl I think I burnt out a motor on that one and they're really old motors so these are the race day quads naked bottom I swear it says badass on their website that's what they're called uh, but they're 2205, 2450 KV, and uh, they should do the job just for, uh, you know, budget motors. These are um, 1399 or 1369 or something, but uh, I'll put links to all this stuff down, down below there in the description, guys. But uh, here, I just got the four for that, and it looks like it comes with uh, motor mount screws and the lock nut for the shaft. You notice here it's not um, it's not hollow shaft but I hear they're really really good so we'll find out I'll give them a flight real soon and then what else do we have here uh, ordered up another Axie I hope this is the, the white one please be the white one yes yeah these are the LHCP guys the white ones the black ones are the RHCPs. I borrowed the one that was on the Nemesis, so I had to get another one for, I mean, yeah, I took the one off the Nemesis and put it on the leader and got this one for the Nemesis. So, we'll clear this off here. And then for the Cadex, we got another, see, I borrowed the Cadex there too. Because it's sitting in the leader right now. Um, and I, I ordered another one. I'll be honest with you guys. I kind of wish I, I waited. But um, only reason being is I started to fly at night more recently. And this is not a good all around camera for nighttime daytime use. Not saying this, it's a bad camera. It's an awesome daytime camera. But at night there's just so much noise on it. So... I don't think I showed you guys, oops, sealed still, what comes in this in the box. But it's basically your basic stuff. They show all their uh, instructions here. A little authenticity paper and a little more, um, notice about the 16.9 to 4.3 ratio. Oh my god, they sent me a pink one. Are you serious? This was supposed to be yellow. Oh, gosh. Oh, race day. Yeah. You... Well, I guess a pink one's going in the Nemesis, guys. Uh, yellow would have been nice because, oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. There's not any other yellow in here, but like, oh boy. I'm going to have to give this one to my wife when I'm done, I guess. Um, so it comes with this little remote and 
it's really annoying. I'm going to show you why real fast. I take long with this video. Um, you see that, that green wire right there? The That's the female side that goes into this side. So unlike the run cam ones where the cable hangs off and you just have a short cable hanging off the camera side, these, these uh, Caddx ones, you have to you know either shorten or keep a length of this green one to be able to control your camera. So just wanted to point that out. That's one of the annoying things about the Caddx. And uh, yep, this is an SDR one again, so I'm going to have trouble flying at night, but... I don't know if I want to rip this around that parking lot at night anyway, guys. So it's, uh, I'll probably just save it for a nice, uh, grassy park, you know? So, got the Caddx for it now. And what else is here? Oh, we got batteries. And what's this thing? Oh, this is going in there. Because, uh, open this thing up. So, I had issues with the run cam version of the TX200 that I got from Amazon. That's what I get for just not going with what I know works, which was the TX200. But this is the uh, the HGLRC XJV TX20 V2. Now I I read on the site that it does do 25200 and 350, and uh, yep, it says it right there. Oh, it says 25, 100, 200, I know you guys can't see it, and 350. So, it's $25, I think it was, um, from race day. Hey, look, came with a sticker again. All right. And let's have a look at it. It's 20 by 20 stack. This stuff's so hard to get out. Looks like the mounting hardware there. So, I figured on top of the Zeus, right there. I'm going to go for this setup instead of uh, piggybacking back there. Because if I get an FR Sky Remote, I want to do the D-pinning thing that Blair and uh, those guys are doing with the RXSR back here. But I have yet to get me that remote. So there it is, guys. Check that out. It is tiny. It's supposed to be 20 by 20, huh? Yeah, it is. It looks tiny, but it does line up with the uh, bolt pattern there. That's going to be nice. Clearly see what channel you're on with the actual digit there instead of uh, uh, blinking lights. Not bad. So uh, that'll be in this build real soon. And I'll get it get it going, guys. So there's some other things here that I ordered for the Nemesis specifically. Uh, let's go with uh, batteries. Now, I ordered these previously because... Uh, Blair suggested uh, from BRDM quads, he suggested a 650 um, 3S. So I saw these on uh, race day quads, um, and they they look great, but they turn out to be huge. I mean, look at the size of this thing. So, and I also got these little uh, 450s to just compare against um, the GNB 450. Went over a little bit on that last night. But I wanted to focus on what I'm going to use for this guy right here. And that was my first choice or try. But give you a quick look. It is huge. I mean, I don't know. That's like half the quad. But I, I don't know if it'll it'll be good with it. I'm definitely going to test it though, guys. But I, I wanted to... Um, have some 550s around and I haven't had any I haven't had any of the GNBs and I kept seeing these right here these are the 553s um, the RDQ series from race day quads and uh, they looked a lot like the GNBs and I'm just wondering did did they make a deal with GNB and get their own uh, setup going but I'm going to find out because it says ADC to 160C just like the GNBs do. And I think these were just under 10 bucks. Uh, I'll leave links to everything and prices. But um, as far as uh, size-wise, I mean, that is gorgeous, the 550. And uh, if that'll run if that'll run the Nemesis, that would be pretty nice, you know, in comparison to this big, big guy. 
come on focus so yeah in comparison to the mini star it's it's a lot thinner but it is only 550 versus 650 so I got a couple of these just to test and um, I'll report back how these how these do guys I'll do flight tests with them and the other battery I got I ordered four actually are these and I've had trouble finding these um, but I found them on uh, a new site called buddy RC it's not new it's new to me it's just I was searching for those motors um, on Friday when I was supposed to maiden this thing and I had that one bad motor back here so I had to search for sunny sky motors and turned out they had them plus they had these um, these are kind of hard to find maybe just for me specifically because the popular places I go to they're always sold out these are the 3s uh, 75c 650 milliamp now check this out this is 650 guys okay these are the 550s I just bought from RDQ but look at that I don't know what's going on here but I guess you could call it a little bit longer here but look at the thickness and this is only a 550 I mean if you compare it to um, the GNB 450 it's about the same size literally I mean that way, that way, every which way. So, is this really 650? I'm gonna find out when I charge it. And I'm, I bought it specifically for this. This is what these guys um, were testing this frame on. It was this battery? And uh, look at that. That's so much better. So, if I really get 650 out of this, why would I run the 550, right? And I did look at the specs, the sizes, the weights, and the comparisons. And, but you know what? You, you kind of just got to get stuff to, uh, to test it yourself. So yeah, big difference. So hopefully these work good. But I have four of them just to find out. And we'll definitely report back on these batteries, guys. Really excited to try them all out, though. Um, and, oh, I also got this here the I finally got one it's the TS 100 I think it was like 52 bucks also from race day um, and you can get them on Amazon too but I figured I was ordering from race day but they also have this cable it was like under four dollars pretty cool goes to your uh, 4s or whatever battery you're gonna run the TS 100 with and this little uh, wire, wire harness thing not bad but the last thing here guys this had some stress about this right here this was uh, the thing I was searching for Friday and uh, a gentleman named Doug from Buddy RC where I got the, the tattoos batteries from um, has these and he told me that he is a direct dealer or not uh, but a retailer of sunny sky motors or sunny sky us i'm not sure don't quote me on it guys but i know that he said that he gets the most recent versions and stuff from sunny sky so let's check it out and before we look at this close let me try and get the focus going there you go see that little indent right there there's a little indent on all these um because these are the old version so i had to do all that loctiting on these and let's check this out please be the new version there's my blade Come on now. oh yeah see it you guys man my camera sucks guys sorry there you see that it's flush you can see the, the flange of the shaft and it's flush with the bell. Awesome. So no Loctiting for me. Uh, guys, yeah, not, not hard to do the Loctiting thing, but it, it's like an extra step and you got to let it cure and stuff properly. But let me see if I can side by side these. Seen all the pictures online. See it? There you go. See the indent? And then there's no indent on my right on this side. And this one has the indent. 
Sweet. No. So, okay, I can confirm because I bought two. I didn't buy a whole bunch, but I bought two because I wanted to be sure that BuddyRC.com has the new version of the um, Sunny Sky 1106 6500 KV. Among the other ones, too, there's like an 8,000 and a 5,000 ish KV, and they were all on his site um, on BuddyRC.com. They are in Columbus, Ohio, so they're local U.S. for us guys, guys in the U.S., and uh, that's what I'm looking for because I, I don't want to wait a month for, for stuff, you know, so awesome. These are going in, guys. I'm going to just go ahead and replace the bad one here, and I'll get this thing going for, for that flight footage, I, I promise you guys. All right, so hey, thanks for joining me for this. Uh, we'll call this the grocery drop, grocery money, volume one. <laughs> So, just wanted to share everything with you guys, and uh, I'll get this video out soon. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Please be safe. Keep on flying. Take care.